Why am I up all night worrying about this when I've already got a promise? You didn't hear what I said. That no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Matter of fact, some of this stuff, uh-oh, that you're praying about, it ain't prayer at all. Some of your prayers are panic. Some of your prayers are 911 calls. They ain't full of faith at all. Because if you really had faith, God would say, why are you wasting time praying to me about this? I've already told you. I'm going to supply all your needs according to my riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So you don't have to pray for that. Go to bed. Oh, I like the way you shout now. That's the kind of peace that's in your spirit. That's in my spirit. My wife is sitting right here on the front row. She will tell you that we try to live this. Every day. Because when all hell breaks loose, there will be two reactions. Your mind, your thoughts, your emotions, and your spirit. Which one are you going to follow? When you don't know what to do, don't ever say you don't know what to do. Because the wisdom of God is in your spirit. It's in you. The answer is in there. You just got to steal your mind. Get still. Panic out. Get the emotions. Go on a fast until you can hear the wisdom of God come out of you. This morning, my assignment was to get you to understand the spiritual dimension that you live in. And you can switch just like that. Just like that. The moment somebody says something to you and you feel that thing starting to come up in you, whereas they say it rubbed you the wrong way, just like that, you can say, I ain't responding to that. You're teaching yourself how to walk in the spirit and how to bring your mind into to subjection underneath your nature. When God opens a door for me, there was a, there was a moment where God opened a door for me and, and it was in a, a realm, you know, I love preaching and revelation. I don't like talking about a whole lot of other stuff, but God opened the door. And for the first time in a long time, when I, when I knew I was going to have to be a part of this assignment, I felt anxiety. Normally, I don't have that. I'm full of confidence, not arrogance, confidence. That's, that's in your spirit. That's a part of your spirit's nature. And I started to feel anxiety. And for the first time in a long time, I started like, what in the world am I doing here? I can't what am I going to say? What am I going to do? And I was able to tap into that spirit dimension and say, what's wrong with you? And I was sitting right there on the stage talking, and people didn't know that while I was talking to them, I was having a conversation with myself on the inside saying, turn it loose, turn it loose. 
turn it loose. You were born for this. You were anointed for this. Open up your mouth and speak like the oracle of God. And I was just smiling and talking to people and talking to people and talking to people. And on the inside, I was telling my soul, shut up, shut up, shut up. Telling my emotions, shut up, shut up, shut up. I don't have no fear in me. God has not given me a spirit of fear. I'm not timid about nothing. Whatever God has called me to do, I'm well able to do it. I'm anointed. I am equipped. And everything I don't know, the Holy Ghost has got nine gifts of the Spirit so he can show it to me and tell it to me. And I'm telling you, by the time I got done, I felt like a giant. Why? Because your spirit has been raised. So now my assignment is to bring your mind out. Now I have to think like I'm resurrected. I have to speak like I'm resurrected. I have to act like I'm resurrected. I have to live like I'm resurrected. Did you receive anything this morning? Did you get revelation and understanding? Stand up on your feet. I want to pray over you. Glory be to God. Now, when you come back in a few minutes, is it 12 o'clock for real? Oh, we started at 930. Okay, I'm thinking we started at 9. Okay. Um, when you come back, all of that's resurrection. That ain't my assignment this weekend. My assignment is ascension. When you come back in this room, you get ready to be taken into a dimension that you have never been taken into. But until you understand the resurrection, you won't walk in the ascension. And so, Father, let this word remain in us that we will live, speak, and act like resurrected spirits that you have raised from the dead. Now lift your hands and thank Jesus for raising you from the dead. Thank you, Jesus.